Hi students, in this video we shall discuss about cookies in PHP. So a cookie is a text file that a website stores on a client's computer to maintain information about the client during and between browsing sessions. Uh, so a cookie it records user preferences and other information that the website can retrieve during the client's subsequent visit. Uh, for example, suppose we visit a website for the first time and we select our preferred language to view that website. Okay, then the server may create a cookie to store our prefer preferred language and uh, next time when we visit the same website, it could remember our option and directly um, shows the pages in our preferred language. Okay, so this is an example for uh, the use of cookies. Now, as you can see in the figure, step 1 shows, uh, here this step 1, step 1 shows a browser sending a request to a server. Okay. Then the server sends the response back to the client along with the response as shown in step 2. So, here you can see the server also send a piece of information called a cookie. So, this uh, cookie may contain some uh, information related to the user. So, this cookie gets stored in the client's hard disk. Okay. So, this cookie that is coming from the server, it gets stored in the hard, uh, client's hard disk. Then the subsequent request for a web page in, this, uh, for, in the same website. This cookie is also sent to the server so that the server can read this cookie value and customize the display accordingly. So under this uh, topic we have to learn how does the server creates a cookie at server side uh, and uh, also how the server reads this cookie from the subsequent request coming from the client. Okay, So we will learn about how to create cookies and how to read these cookies in PHP. So before that, uh, let's see some of the uses of the cookies. So one main use is it records user preferences and other information that the website can retrieve during the client's subsequent visit. That's it. That is the major use. And um, many websites uh, they use cookies to store client zip codes or pin codes and provide weather reports and news updates tailored to the user's region. And also websites use cookies to track information about the client activity and um, analysis of information collected via this cookies can reveal the popularity of websites or products. And uh, marketers can use cookies to determine the effects of advertising campaigns. So these are some of the uses of cookies. And next one is security and privacy of cookies. So we know that cookies are text files stored on users hard drives by the website and any program on the client side can read it. Okay. So as it is a simple text file stored at client side, any program on the client side can read this cookies. So thus critical information such as credit card numbers, passwords, etc. should not be stored in cookies. Now a server can access only the cookies that it has placed on the client. Okay. For example, uh, suppose a cookie placed by www.flipkart.com. Okay. That cannot be accessed by another website called www.amazon.com. So, a cookie can be accessed only by those websites uh, who place that cookie on the client. Next one is a cookie have uh, can have an expiry date set by the server after which the web browser deletes it. Okay. So if no expiry date is set, by, set for a cookie then it gets deleted when the user closes the browser window. So every cookie can have an expiry date that is set by the server and if there is no expiry date set by the server then the cookie gets deleted whenever we close the browser then uh, it's, it's possible for us to uh, disable cookies in uh, our web browser. 
uh, but uh, sometimes it becomes impossible for the user to interact with websites that rely on cookies to function properly Mm. see for example usually when we open some websites uh, we can see a message like this website uses cookies to ensure you get the best experience in our website something like that okay so most of the websites relies on cookies for their uh, proper functioning now the next topic is creating or writing cookies in php okay so in php we use set cookie function set cookie set cookie function to create a cookie so the format of the set cookie function is set cookie first parameter is name of the cookie to be set and second parameter is value to be stored in the cookie and the third parameter is expiry date of the cookie okay so it takes uh, mainly three parameters uh, one is name of the cookie to be set second one is value to be stored in that cookie and third one is the expiry date of the cookie then of no expiry date is specified the cookie only last until the end of the current session that is until the user closes the browser window and if only the name argument is passed to set cookie function the cookie is deleted from the client's computer that is to delete the cookie also the same set cookie function method, set cookie function is used in php with that is set cookie function without Uh, the value argument okay that will delete a delete the specified cookie okay so for example uh, suppose a set cookie suppose we specify the cookie name only name of the cookie okay then it will delete this cookie from client's computer then also note that the set cookie method must appear before html tag now let's see an example um so here suppose the server provides an html form to the client to fill up so uh, suppose the server provides an html form like this so this html form allows the user to enter a name uh, then their height and favorite color and when the user clicks the write cookie button a php script is executed uh, for example cookie dot php okay so uh, the action part of this form form action equal to we have to specify cookie dot php okay so when we click the right 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 cookie button the form data will be processed by this php script cookie dot php okay. now let's see cookie dot php file so in cookie.php file uh, first we are extracting the value posted by client okay so uh, here here uh, this cookie.html file uh, the form method is post okay so here the form method is post and the form action is form action is cookie.php okay so in cookie.php first we are extracting the value posted by client okay so by using the extract function extract dollar underscore post okay uh, here we can uh, individually access the value of name height and favorite color uh, using dollar underscore post otherwise we can extract all the values from dollar underscore post in a single line okay so here we are using extract function to access the values 
posted by the client okay so the values are name height and favorite color okay so the values are automatically stored in this variable dollar name dollar height and dollar color so dollar name is the value of dollar name will be lunatic dollar height will be 5 feet and dollar color it is blue blue color okay that is the values entered by the user are stored in this dollar name dollar height and dollar color variables okay so after extracting those values that are sent by the posted by the client we are uh, setting three cookies using the set cookie function so set cookie then the name of the cookie is name itself okay so the name of first cookie is name and its value is lunatic okay the sec, uh, name of second cookie is height and its value is dollar height the name of third cookie is color and its value is dollar color and what uh, here you can see the expiry date of these three cookies are set as time of 60 into 60 into 24 into 5 okay so time of means the current time okay current time plus 60 into 60 into 24 means it represents one day into 5 means 5 days okay so 60 means 60 seconds 60 minutes 24 means 24 hours that means it's number of total number of seconds in a day okay so 60 into 60 into 24 means total number of seconds in a day that means it represents uh, one day into 5 means 5 days so the expiry date of this three these three cookies are 5 days okay so server has uh, created three cookies the name of the cookies are name height and color and the values are lunatic five feet and blue respectively and the expiry date is five days now here so here you can see uh, this uh, set cookie function it comes before this html tag So when the user clicks the write cookie button in the previous HTML file, the PHP script is executed and it creates some cookies and displays this information to the user. Okay, this is done here. So uh, the server creates some cookies and those informations are displayed back to the client using this HTML script. Okay, so here you can see it's printing uh, the value of dollar height, dollar name, and dollar color okay so simply printing those cookie values back to the user now the next topic is how to read cookies in php so server can read cookie values from the global environment variable dollar underscore cookie okay so there is a global environment variable available in php called dollar underscore cookie so this one can be used by the server to read all the cookie values. Now, <coughs> individual cookies values can be read as shown here. A dollar underscore cookie. Then within square bracket, uh, you have to specify the cookie name. For example, here if you specify favorite color, the output will be blue. Echo dollar underscore cookie then the cookie name is if you specify favorite color the it will print blue color okay blue then uh, it can read all the cookie values uh, and print it using the using a for each loop so it's shown here so we can read all the cookies values uh, in a single line and we can print it using a for each statement like this for each dollar underscore cookie as dollar key dollar value so we can print dollar key and dollar value so key means the name of the key means the name of the cookie and value means the value stored in that cookie so it will print all the cookie name and its cookie values okay so in php dollar underscore cookie global variable can be uh, 
used to read the cookie values.